안녕하세요. 한국어 문법 창고입니다. In the last video, I explained the word 은는을 줄 알다 모르다, which has the meaning of misunderstanding or wrong information. In this session, I would like to talk about 을줄 알다 모르다, having the same form of one of the three. And I will also differentiate a few things from the words used in a similar sense. Let's go. First of all, the form generally follows the rule that combines 을. Therefore, the type of the ending syllable is related to this. For the explanation of each rule, refer to the video I uploaded earlier. They are on the second and third. Only verbs are combined in the front, but since it is an auxiliary term, on other words, can be also combined behind it. Examples are as follows. With vocabulary, 먹을 줄, 할 줄, 걸을 줄, 구울 줄, 지을 줄, 그럴 줄, 만들 줄, 알다 모르다. And there are the cases with another words. First, with ending words, 줄 알아요, 몰라요. 줄 알까요, 모를까요? 줄 아세요, 모르세요? 줄알 거예요, 모를 거예요? 줄 알리가 없어요, 모를 리가 없어요. 줄알것 같아요, 줄 모를 것 같아요. 줄 아는데요, 모르는데요. And with connecting words, 줄 아는데, 모르는데, 줄 아니까, 모르니까, 줄 알지만, 모르지만, and much more. One thing to keep in mind here is that you'd better use another word to represent the same semantic function of this word. It's because the word 은는 을줄 알다 모르다 seen in the previous video is mainly used with a past tense. At, at. So, using this word as a past tense can be confused with that one. So, make sure to remember this. Now, shall we figure out the meaning of this word through example sentences? Number one, 한국말을 할줄 알아요? Can you speak Korean? Number two, 저도 삼겹살 먹을 줄 아는데요. I know how to eat 삼겹살 pork belly. Two, Number three, 아이가 옷을 혼자 입을 줄 아네요. The child knows how to put on the clothes by himself. Number four, 그 아이는 자전거 탈줄 모르는 것 같아요. I don't think the kid knows how to ride a bike. Number five, 글자를 읽을 줄 모르는데 좀 도와주세요. I don't know how to read letters, so please help me. Number six, 너무 감사해서 어쩔 줄 모르겠어요. I don't know what to do because I'm so thankful. In combination with only verbs, this word means that you know how to do it or you are capable of doing it. That is, you can think of the letter 줄 as the process that leads to a certain outcome. And in most cases, you may understand the word as it's about whether you have learned it or had the same experience in the past. Exceptionally, this sentence with 어쩌다, which is the short colloquial term of 
어떻게 하다 is often used in the form of a combination with this grammar word. Then, now I'm going to compare this word with two other words that function in a similar sense. First of all, we have the word 울수 있다 없다. As you can see from the video I uploaded earlier, this word has more than one function. It's used similar to 울줄 알다 모르다, only when it needs ability, one of its functions. However, the focus is more on the ability and inability to 울수 있다 없다, and on the way, method, and skill of the act to 울줄 알다 모르다. In addition, as mentioned earlier, it can be confused with the contents of the wrong thought of 울줄 알다 모르다. So you'd better use 울수 있다 없다 when you talk about the past ability, the ability that you don't have anymore. For example, 저는 어렸을 때 한자를 읽을 줄 알았어요. When I was young, 한자, Chinese character, 읽다, to read. Rather than this sentence, 저는 어렸을 때 한자를 읽을 수 있었어요. When I was young, I could read Chinese characters. This sentence feels more natural, but that doesn't mean that this sentence is wrong. Secondly, when 알다 모르다 is combined after the modifier 은지, it's used as an auxiliary term that has a similar use to this word. The word 어떻게 must be additionally combined in the front to have something in common as well as its meaning function with this word. Based on the type of questions, the difference between the two lies on why you are asking. For example, 여기에서 편의점에 갈줄 알아요? Do you know how to go to a convenience store from here? This sentence asks about the ability of the listener. 여기에서 편의점에 어떻게 가는지 알아요? Do you know how to get to a convenience store from here? This sentence may be also about the listener's ability, but it's usually more often used when the questioner wants to go to the convenience store who doesn't know how to. In other words, 어떻게 은지 알다 모르다 focuses on the solution. However, if this sentence is changed to a plain text, there is no difference in meaning. 저는 여기에서 편의점에 갈줄 알아요. It's same with 저는 여기에서 편의점에 어떻게 가는지 알아요. I will post a detailed explanation of the grammar word 은지 soon. Remember that in order to add the function of the emphasis or contrast, the word 줄 may be combined with the particles 을 or 은. There are some Koreans who pronounce 줄 in this word close to just 주 or 지, like 한국어 할지 알아요? This is definitely wrong and 을지 part has another meaning of whether or not, so it's better to pronounce it correctly. Then I'll come back with another informative explanation about Korean. Thank you! 감사합니다!